Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. Today we have Roman on, back for Roman Brandt's Valentine's mm. Day edition. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I think this comes out a little bit after Valentine's Day, but hope you guys had a good one and uh, spent it either with some self-love or the person you love. <laughs> but, some yeah. self-love. <laughs> Is Valentine's Day a scam? Yes and no. You should love your person or yourself the same way all throughout the year and not just on Valentine's Day. However. Yeah, okay. However, I think yeah, I think that like business isn't obviously like it's just like any other fucking day. Like they ju- you just capitalize. Yeah, they monetize it. They're, yeah, you're just monetizing yeah. love. <laughs> yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. These flowers are 50 times the cost they, they were. Yeah, it's actually true. Yeah. But. To me, so I don't know if you you remember, obviously. To me, these kinds of holidays are a big deal. Like Valentine's Day, Halloween, or like Christmas, whatever. Just like little small things, April Fool's, whatever. Because remember mom always used to decorate the house. For oh, yeah. Our mom was actually good. So like stuff. always used to decorate the house for Valentine's Day. Like we come home from school and like grade whatever, seven, eight, even like up to grade 11. Like yeah, my mom, was, my mom was actually really nice. <laughs> there was like shit. heart balloons and uh, and strawberry dip and dipped um, chocolate strawberries and like always a Valentine's <laughs> Day so card. Jokes. And it was actually cute. <laughs> and like also, um, we, we were like, I don't know if you got... Maybe you were too, but we were raised to like always celebrate holidays and give cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always. Like my mom, always. my dad, like whether it's an anniversary, a birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, like Easter, like always to give cards. Yeah. So I don't know. I like Valentine's Day. I like it. I mean. I like the idea of it. They just like remind you that like, hey, don't I like it if love. Roman, like <laughs> if, I, if I come home and Roman has like shit for me there, then I'll like it. Do guys like Valentine's Day or is it kind of like just, yeah. hint, hint. stressful? Like, no, as a guy, do you think it's like, fuck, Valentine's Day is coming out? I mean, it's not I'm that trying to like, think though. when I was like single, it was more like. Really? Hard, yeah, because you just like feel lonely and shit, you know? Like, okay, it's but bit- it's not that hard. I don't know why you say that. It's not that hard for guys or girls. You literally, you can stop by the fucking gas station and buy some like no, I know, flowers I think and hearts. A really yeah, but- high standard sometimes. Like on TikTok, you see like the guys decorate the hotel rooms and like they're putting flowers Yeah, how you compete like- with these fucking TikTok guys yeah. putting all this- I bought my girlfriend a Lamborghini in Dubai, yeah. and I also planned a fucking seven week trip for her for this it, week. I mean, <laughs> a lot of pressure because I make millions off these. It, just dep- <laughs> like it depends TikTok. who your girlfriend or like wife or whatever is. Exactly, it's all like some girls probably have like don't want a fucking gas station gift. Uh, like I, I'm not saying, saying gas station gift. I'm just saying like I hate like when <sighs> people make it seem like it's such a hard thing. It's not. You can literally just stop by anywhere get and like get flowers and, and a yeah. fucking chocolate and. Call it a fucking day, you know what I mean? As long as your mm. girlfriend's not high maintenance as fuck and expects a land yeah, you imagine these flowers way. are fucking shit? I like tulips, <laughs> not roses. I actually like tulips. You want to grow or something? I don't give a fuck. Um, okay, story okay, time. Weekly up- what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> weekly updates. So me and Fran, oh, yeah, um, I want first. to talk about- Wait, can I say mine first? No. To- I want to talk about social anxiety. <laughs> So me and Fran are trying to put ourselves out there a little bit more. You know, the, po- the podcast is growing. We're doing some cool stuff. And this year is the year we said, in terms of KIC, to put ourselves out there to start developing strategies to really grow the business and the brand. With that, we want to start going to events. You know, we want to start like when we're asked to go yeah, somewhere, good. we'll go. You know, we're, we're going to say yes. And that's hard because I'm very much someone that's like, I don't want to fucking do anything I don't want to do. But I think that unless we start going to these things that we're mm-hmm. asked to go to, or even if we're not asked, even if it's like an open invite and we're just going to network, we should go. So we did that. Um, last weekend. Last, last week. Last Monday, It was on Monday. Okay, so that's already a stretch. It was on a fucking Monday night. <laughs> we both finished work, got all dolled up, and then left the house. Left the house at 8 p.m. to go downtown Toronto on, on a Monday, Monday night. To yeah. Myth. To Myth. To Myth, oh. okay. So we went to this event. That gives me anxiety. We went to this event. It was super cool. Like you had to say your name at the door, exclusive event, blah, blah, blah. We're like, okay, this is cool. We're going to network. We're going to go in there. We're going to talk to people. The first thing we did was go to the bathroom. Just straight, (laughs) just fucking beeline for the bathroom. And we're sitting there. We're like, okay, okay. We need like a plan of action. Like what are we going to do? We just stare ourselves in the mirror for like two minutes. Talk to the bathroom lady who hands out like the mints. And we went back upstairs. We hung our coats. We fucking walked around. There was like free food and free drinks. Yeah, it was it was open but bar. But it's Monday. They know you're not going to drink. So. No, everyone was drinking. And these drinks were like sick, okay? It was just like- They're strong too, fuck. They were strong and the food was amazing. So me and Fire are just sitting yeah. there with our fucking chimichurri like, steaks and like tacos just eating. 
just, and, and I felt bad for us. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why can't we talk to people? Why can't we talk? And I Sometimes am doing dry January started, slash, no? I'm doing dry January slash trying to just be dry for until I need to drink. And so I was like, I don't want to like just drink to drink. Like I have work the next day. Same with her. She was like, I'm going to have one drink. And usually when you start drinking, you have some drinks in you. I'm like very talkative. But otherwise I'm a, I'm an introvert and I just don't know how to approach people. And so is she. So we're like, this is funny because it made me realize that like when you go out with people, there's always that one person who's like the person that will like go up to people and talk to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, we're both, her, not, we're both not that like that. So we're just in the corner. Like, what the fuck do we even do? And like, I don't you know. Like, say something. No, you. We, <laughs> yeah, I'm no, proud. No, that, no, no, like, go now. We saw this like influencer that we, we were kind of like starstruck. <laughs> we weren't starstruck. You I was a little bit. I was like, oh, like I see her yeah, all over like, TikTok. She's like, villain. and she's like, post like when like I was literally afraid to like go put flash on and take a picture. Like it's embarrassing. Yeah, because she's we wanted here, to take some pictures. She's here with a fully full on GoPro and no, like she flashing. Had, no, light. she has really? like a thing on her phone in the in like a vanity. It wasn't a thing. It was a vanity mirror. It was like a vanity mirror that lit up on her phone. On the yeah. phone, at the bar, and like just talking to it. Oh my God. And no one thought of any, no one gives a fuck. You know what I yeah. mean? And me and Fran were scared to take a picture like this with Flash. And we we're like, okay, we need to like work on this a bit more. But I don't know. I just want to say that like, I, I am proud of us for like doing it and putting ourselves out there and, you know, kind of yeah, you, going. Worst case, you tried something new, you know? Like, what's tried the big something deal? new, stayed for a whole 40 minutes, and uh, then also, we dipped. It also proves that like opposites attract. You know, like someone who's shy or maybe like an introvert needs an extrovert to like, you know, yeah. like get them out there. But someone who's an extrovert needs an introvert to like kind of, you know, like yeah. calm them down a bit. But me and Sam were both just like not. But I think like I would have, I would have. I just like. No, you wouldn't. No, like I, I kept telling you go, go like because you knew some of the people. Yeah, you definitely And you not. didn't do I, it. I didn't really know them though. I just you're, like you're seen definitely them not like the type of person to like go up to somebody. I'm and just start not, the but that's why we want to <laughs> like, keep putting ourselves out there. But like, hi, I'm Sam. I'm Fran, and we're from Keeping a Chento. Not like you know? that. Not like that. <laughs> but just like, hey, yeah. like, what are you doing here? Who are you? Kind of thing. Like, and we're blah blah blah. And blah. it was so weird because we were at the bar and we we're just like eaves eavesdropping on people. And this one girl was like, "Yeah, I'm actually producer for like a radio talk why don't show." You talk and we're to like, instead of just like, I know. wanted to turn around and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, just be like, hey, I couldn't help it over here. Like, just but then. Little but then fucking... I was like, wait, then she's going to know we were eavesdropping if I'm like, oh, oh, really? Hey, you're talking like, in public. Of course I fucking heard she you. She wasn't like, talking. <laughs> she was like talking intimately to the guy next to her. And and oh, Fran okay. yeah. was like- If it was like a fucking it wasn't whispering intimate. It was like It wasn't whispering, though. but you know when you're at the bar and you can hear someone like next to you? Like we were standing next to each other. Like she was a little bit behind us and she was talking. Yeah. She was, yeah- I don't know what she said. Something like a radio host. Radio host, producer, producer for radio. Oh, so she for loves segments. to talk then. You could have just said anything radio, and she would have went off that. podcasting, marriage. You know what hmm. I mean? But that's why you got to reach yeah. out. Well, you got to be like. Key takeaways is when you hear and you're eavesdropping on people and you hear something that sparks your interest, talk to them. But the second takeaway is I am proud that we went out of our, you yeah, know, you comfort went, zone, especially good. on a fucking Monday night. <laughs> yeah, crazy. But yeah, that, that's my spiel slash update of the week, I think. Another one is I've literally been crying every day. Same. <laughs> no, I I bawled my eyes up this morning. I think so I'm did I. So did I. I woke up. Same no, I woke Asking, up. We said that. I said this on the way here. I'm like, I think I I'm, woke I, up. No, wait. Let me. And bawled, no, listen. I woke up and bawled my eyes out. Like I was crying. I'm like I'm worthless piece of like, shit. About <laughs> what though? Like does something you know, trigger that, it, or you just my literally self, wake no, up? No, my self worth this morning was like. I was like, I'm a worthless piece of shit. And I started crying. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. Was just, like I actually started. I was bawling all day today. I think it's like the moons and retro. Like I don't know. Some, some, the, something to Yo, retrograde. Sometimes I'm, I don't cry, but like. <laughs> but like You're sad about your life? But some, yeah, sometimes. Ask her. I get like. I call it like seasonal depression. Because some. Like every like three months. I'll have like a week period. Where I just feel like a piece of shit. Like yeah, I'm just like a me. piece of shit. I, don't I feel won't like, like cry and like ball my eyes out. I don't feel like, like a balling. worthless piece of shit. But I, <laughs> I, I told you last week. I just feel like. I, I feel laughing. like my crying is I'm like. such a piece of shit. <laughs> my crying is like. Because I'm a fucking failure. And I don't know what I like. What I want in life. But like I cry because I, I wake up and I'm like. I'm a fucking failure and I don't know what I want. And and because I don't know what I want, I'm a failure. That's literally what I've been crying about. But like every day I've been crying, every single day. I saw a three-legged dog out the window today and I started That's crying. That's sad though. That's something to cry about. But like, you didn't, you don't cry on the spot. You know, I saw the I sunset and I started to cry because I was grateful for the pink sky. I was yeah. like, why am I crying so fucking you know much? I screamed in my pillow. Like I was like, <laughs> like you know those times where you just scream in your pillow? Yeah. And then I woke up and I was like, okay, let's get the day going over here. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I, I don't hate know. to be I, like I, an ignorant guy, but like, is this like period related stuff? Like no. before you Wait, get your period, do you check. get like all fucking- yeah. 
Could be. You PMS, do, but like, wait, let me check. I fucking hate everything. Just kidding. I love everything. Mm, I, not, <laughs> no. Like, I don't think so because like, I'm actually crying about things that like, I, I'm, I'm like. Yeah, but are you more, like, are you crying? Like, crying is kind of like an extreme emotion more so than like just I don't, being sad, I'm not you know? scream crying like Fran. I'm just I like am. kind of like tearing up at the thought of things because I think, and I told him on the way here, this fucking tag is. Um, don't wear my sweater. I, oh. um, <laughs> I was telling him, I think it's like an emotional release. It's almost like, like, like you're, you're coming to realizations of things or like, I don't know. I, I just feel like this past week I've been doing such like deep digging into myself. Like I'll drive on my drives to work, which are like sometimes an hour or even if yeah. I'm working from home, like I'll take the morning and I won't, I usually always listen to podcasts and I, I, I've been driving in silence. In silence? And I'm just like thinking to myself. I love driving in I'm like, silence. why do I it's feel nice this way? It's nice though, no? Like you have like- I know, but I usually don't like time. to. I don't like to, cause I don't want to go dig dig deep into my brain, <laughs> but I have been recently. And <laughs> I've, been, I've been pulling out some trauma and I'm just like, this is why I'm like this. And this is why I'm like that. And so. Speaking of driving, I have a story. That I want to share Good you. Good segue. <laughs> so I have to renew my license, whatever. So I was in the car with the instructor, we go. How come? Because I, it was expired. So I had to do my G2 all over again, but I passed. So anyways, we're fine. <laughs> um, so, and my instructor driving on the way back home. So all of a sudden, this guy gets a phone call. And it's on speaker. He goes, hello. And he goes, where the fuck is my $2,000? And I was like. What? <laughs> and he's like, what? And he's like, where the. F sorry, I'm sorry. Where the F is my money, man? Like you said, you pay me. And the guy's like, I paid you three years ago. Like, why are you calling me <laughs> three years, years ago, ago for money? <laughs> and the guy's the? like, I'll put a fuck. And then he hangs up the phone. I'm just sitting there. I was like. What the fuck? And he calls him. He calls him again. He goes, "I know you're. I know you have a daughter. I know you have a son. I'll come kill you right fucking now. I don't care who you're with." And I'm in the passenger seat. Like, can you get this guy off speaker? Like, why are you? Like, were you scared? Yeah. Why are you I'm answering a, this on speaker? I'm a driving student. Why are you answering this right now? And I was actually terrified for my life. And then he was like, "Oh, we just gotta like make a stop. I'm like, driving straight home, sir. I'm like, driving straight you home. Said like, that? Yeah. I'm like, driving straight home. I'm like, I'm uncomfortable. And they drove me home. But anyways, I just thought that was fucking. Yeah. What the fuck? We gotta make a quick stop. What? He was threatening his life. He was like, I, I only have a daughter and son and I'm going to fucking kill. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, why would die. you want to stay in the car with that? Yeah, guy? I was like driving <laughs> the fuck home. Anyways, that was my. That's kind of fucked. That sounds like something that would happen in a movie. Only to me though, it would happen. Like when I'm in the car. Yeah, it sounds like, like, like a Seth Rogen movie or something. Like actually only me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to talk about this book that I'm reading. Yeah, it's that, called, that actually made me reflect. Today. It's called, it's a really good book. It's called Get Out of Your Own Way. It's a yellow cover. Um, and it's basically about getting out of your own way. So all your self-defeating behaviors and how to take action to like stop those. So procrastination, laziness, how to say you're sorry, how to forgive when you're still angry, um, how to be like a parent to your parent, like those kinds of things. So the introduction, the guy talks about how he was studying to be a doctor, like a PhD doctor, but then realized that like he didn't love it and that something was missing. And what was missing is that like, he would be in the patient's room, like talking to the patients about like their psychological health. But like as a doctor, you don't do that. Like you just, you do surgery. You know what I mean? Like he wants to be a surgeon or something. I don't know. Something like, like he was studying to be a surgeon, but he yeah, was talking yeah. to people about their, about their mental health. Yeah. So he wanted to, he realized he wanted to change career paths and be a psychiatrist. But he's like, to go to being from being a doctor and getting your PhD to a psychiatrist is like a huge kind of like drop in prestige. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I read this passage and this was literally like, this just changed my life in one book i hope i this is the guy who wrote the book yeah, yeah. okay it's in our chat i'm gonna read it no i'm gonna read it so okay let me read you guys a story okay then he said okay the dean told me to become a psychiatrist and he said but that would be the easy way out i protested and the dean's reply changed his life hello sorry the dean's reply changed my life. He said, sometimes the easy way out is the right, right way, way in. in. And I don't know why that like really stuck, stuck with me. Like the yeah. easy way out is the right way in. Like for example- For other things. For example, like you fucking hate your job and the easy way out would be to just quit instead of like sticking it out and like- but Sometimes it's the right decision. But sometimes that's the easy way into something that would make you more money or like that you're passionate about. 
I don't know why that stuck with me. It reminded me of you, so I sent to you. Yeah, I know that. That's we were literally just having this convo. It's like car. an older generation thing. They always like drilled into our heads, like don't take the easy way out. Don't take the easy well, because, way out. Yeah, and that's how I felt all but my like, life. I, I just like, felt like <laughs> yeah, like I just it's felt easy like, way out for a reason. Like, yeah, because yeah. I, I feel like quitting. Fuck, would I take the harder way out? <laughs> I feel like quitting is always the easy way out. Like if you, I, I've always felt like I can't quit something. Like once I start it, I need to see it through, and I have so much regret, and not even regret, but I have so much like. I don't know. time you can't get back, right? Like wasting doing something that like you don't want to do. No, but I'm saying like, in my mentality is like, even when I was talking about earlier in this podcast, how like my crying and things is like fear, fear of failure that I'm like not, uh, I'm not choosing the right, I don't know, things to do and whatever. Yeah. But it's like, because I, I, I want to keep going sometimes at things that I'm not exactly aligned with. <clears throat> and you're right, honestly, like that passage, I read it today on my way to work and I was like, hmm. Like, and I'm not saying to quit is like always the best way to no. go, but like I feel like thinking about making a change and and then thinking about oh this change might make me look this way or seem that way isn't the right way to go because it that change be if it's going to make you happier could actually make you more money in the long run if that's what you want give you more free time if that's what you want um, fuel your sorry I just spit fuel your fire if that's what you want you know what I mean happiness so, is what will like. You could make 90K a year and fucking hate so your I mean life. So I mean really about money. And you but. could make like 50K a year, but you're genuinely happy. Like yeah. you would you would have like, I don't, it's still way more worth it to make less money to be happier. Like I think so. Your happiness will make you make like way more things in your life positive than the money that you're making from that small mm -hmm. fucking raise. Well, that's what we're talking about last episode too. Like, yeah. And a lot of people resonated with that. Yeah, like we're not, not to sound rude or anything, but like we're not fucking immigrants to a country where like we need to fucking take what we can get and 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 deal with it. Yeah. Like, and like you know what? That's so funny that you say that. We're residents of this country now. Like we have the opportunities because we're citizens here. Like this is like our place, you know? We can fucking decide and, and try and take a path we want. We're not just moving to fucking Lebanon and trying to get a job anywhere we can to work and make money, you know? like. And I have two things to say that. Number one is it's, uh, like, that's a tough thing to say, right? Like, it's yeah. a tough thing to admit, but we all think it. Like, when I think- like it's, I call it the immigrant mindset. Sorry to interrupt you, but it's like like the immigrant mindset, right? Like, just like don't take the easy way out. Just do what you got to do. Like, do yeah. this, do and that. And like, the, re the reality is there are people to this day, obviously, immigrants that come to this country for a better life. And they they, they work five jobs because that's what they need to do to survive. They get but, Canadian citizens laid off because, like, they work harder than them for less money, too. Like, but that's not my point. My point is they come here, okay? And they their their right to come here, whatever. It's in their right to come here if they want to. And they work five jobs because they need to survive. And like, mm -hmm. if they had some of the jobs that we had, they'd be so grateful. Meanwhile, there's some of us that are doing things that we're like, I don't even want to, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? And in my head, I've always thought that. I've always thought like, mm -hmm. my Nuno was an immigrant to this country. He came here to give us a better life. I need to do all of this. I need to do, I need to do X, Y, and Z to be able to succeed and make my family mm -hmm. proud. And like, and and there's all these other immigrants who like would love to live in Canada and work here. They're like, but it's like it's you all. Need to put yourself but wait, in their it's shoes. all. But it's all relative, is exactly. what I was gonna say. Like the reality is, like I'm not an immigrant to this country. Like I was born here. I understand my privilege. Like I I understand that I had a privileged life growing up. My parents were able to put me through university and Fran. And like, what's the point of living life? It, with a mindset of someone else when you aren't that someone else, if that makes sense. Like, why am I going to live like, oh my God, but there's like, other, there's like other people. <laughs> like, no, no, but like my Nuno's mindset. No, my, like my no Nuno's mindset or like just any other mindset of like, or like thinking like, oh my God, like there's people who come here, bust their ass every day and I'm complaining about this. It's like, it's all relative. And it's sometimes hard to admit that because you don't want to look like an asshole, but like, it's true. Yeah, you don't want to seem like a, like almost spoiled, but it's yeah. like, but, but it's it, not. It's but everyone's not. in a like, different situation. Yeah. Like, why would someone, let's say someone who's a kid of a filthy rich family, okay? Like, let's say you were, you grew up in fucking Kleinberg and your parents are like super rich and like, you don't even really need to work if you don't want to because your dad's money will literally support you the rest of your life. Why are they gonna like work super hard from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. every <laughs> single day if like they don't really need to? What you know was what the I point mean? of like the dad like, making all that money? What's the point? Like, <laughs> like what's isn't it? What was like, the whole isn't point that of what all generational this? wealth is? Is you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like I think about that a lot too. And like, that's a good point you made because like, why think about it from other people's perspective when it's all yeah. relative? Like, I don't know. The, 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 
don't take the easy way out thing is such like a, a fucking stupid saying, in my opinion. It's like, why not? <laughs> Like, why you make it the harder way for out you? Of everything. Everything. Yeah, actually, why true. the fuck would I take the hard way out? But why would of you anything? want to make it harder for yourself? Exactly. Like, seriously, if you can take the easy way out and, and like. <laughs> right? No, like. <laughs> you know, that's like me. So do I. I'm yeah. like that in a lot of ways, too. If I have the okay. easy way out, I will take it. That's, I find the easy way to do the right thing. That's what I do. I find the easiest way to do the right thing. Yeah, but then again, do you call? Do you get called lazy for it? Sometimes. Yeah. I do all the time. My dad calls me lazy. All the time. Not but lazy, call- but I get called like sometimes not driven enough or like, oh, it's like, dude. <laughs> Procrastinator. Yeah, but it's like, one? I'm not yeah. being that. I'm doing it the easy way out because it's what is easy and is what, again, is getting me in the right way in something. Yeah. You know what I mean, like it's getting Like it's me- also my life. Like, yeah. let's if you want to take the hard way out, take the hard way let's out. Let's say the easy way out for you is, um, I don't know. Let's say, let's say, uh, it, okay, actually, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you Okay, there's a difference though, with, like disclaimer, when it comes to like morals and stuff like that, like sometimes no, no, you I'm can't ta- take the easy way no, out. No, no, I'm not saying like, like yeah, us. fuck that guy, whatever, it's, it's not my feelings. So yeah, no, no, like, no, we're talking about like your personal life choices. Yeah, yeah obviously. Like, like I'm there's not obviously gonna, a, a right and wrong thing to do. But yeah, like, but no, we're not talking about morally. We're talking yeah. about like uh, the choices that you make in your life, but it's so true. And I, I actually do think like you guys are a little bit similar that way. But I, I also think that it's younger sibling syndrome. I think like the older sibling, you should probably you should ask your brother this. Maybe he. Oh, kind- for sure. Oh my god, I would know, never I come on the podcast. Hundred yeah. percent, he would. Why would we ever have him on? Well, he doesn't. He lives live, in Vancouver. Oh yeah. <laughs> but next time he's here, we should. We'll compare no podcast. No, it's better when he's here. Yeah, he, he's because like he, we're siblings. They're right, siblings. <laughs> He's, 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 That'd be funny, like you. two brother siblings. Like we never really interact. No, with Nello's people. gonna come on and we'll talk about like older sibling syndrome versus younger sibling syndrome because I you feel like gonna shit on me. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna shit on you guys. It's just like how you guys like because friends always like Sam. Who cares? Who cares? And I'm just like I say that all the time, but it's like it's true though. You can learn something from that. Sometimes I just, like, listen to sometimes me. Sometimes no, you think, think I'm just saying it to be like shut up. Who cares? Like, I'm actually yeah. saying that. No, I don't. Yeah, you're saying that it shut me up. When yeah, we, she says we, that to me too. We had that deep time. talk in the car after the photo shoot, and I was saying who cares or on the way of ocean. Okay. <laughs> we weren't having a deep talk. I was talking, and you were just okay, saying no, cares. no, I didn't. Was you were having a deep talk? I was saying who cares what people think. Actually, who cares? And you're like easy for you to say. I'm like, how is it easy for me? Say, not, I yeah, do, like, like I just d- learned to not give a fuck what people say about exactly, me and my opinion. It's not, exactly. It wasn't easy, but I've learned to do it. So I'm just giving you my valuable advice. Okay, you just no. don't think it's valuable because I'm younger than you. I know. But it I is don't valuable. not think it's valuable. I told you. Okay, can I? Can you guys not interrupt me now? Yeah, for once, now. can we're, I speak? Taking, <laughs> okay, sorry. You guys keep interrupting me. I can never get a thought through. So sweating bowls. I'm sweating too. But now, what I was gonna say? Younger siblings. Um, yeah, okay. It's not that I don't take what you say is valuable because I, I actually do. I think about it, but I'm just trying to like tell you how I feel from my perspective because Fran will always be like, like I was kind of telling her about my issues, which I never really do because sometimes she holds it against me. But anyways, I <laughs> was You're telling her like, everywhere. Oh, sorry. I was telling her about my like just things that I was going through and she was like, who cares what people think? Who cares this? Who cares that? And I'm like, What's what's the, where's the convo supposed to go from there? You know what I mean? Am I supposed to be like, oh yeah, who cares? Like it it doesn't work that way. Like and that's why I'm saying I've been trying to do deep inner work with myself to stop caring what people think. And what I was trying to say to you is like it's easy for you to say that because me and you are in totally different positions. Being like the older sibling and having to deal with certain things and like just the way that I am as a person is different from how you are as a person. So like it's it's also easy for me to say something that you're not used to. Like but I'm what used stops to you from I'm used to like having so much pressure put on me for different things and like whatever the fuck. Like but I already so told am you I, this. Though. I know, but like I just feel like I need to always do things right. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But and like you don't realize that so do I. Being a younger sister Following mm-hmm. your older sister, older sibling, you probably can relate. Your parents probably expect you to like do what you're oh, doing, or Nello's doing, or compares you to Nello. I get compared to Sam all the time. Okay, but yeah. I'm, it's like, I'm ex- who cares? I'm not Sam. I'm not going to do the same thing that Sam is doing. I'm going to do what Fran wants to do. So I don't yeah. care whether it's my family mm-hmm. or my or whoever's saying like, oh, but you should you know do what Sam's doing. I'm like, who cares? I want to do what like Fran wants to do. And you probably feel the same way yeah. with like. If they compare you to Nello, I don't know if they do, but like if yeah, they you went ever- to university, I didn't. That was like okay, a huge that was probably thing. a huge thing. Like, oh, you can go to yeah. school, or you know what mm-hmm. I mean. You're probably like, who gives a fuck? I want to do what yeah. I want to do, and that's what I did. That I came to the realize. This is what I want to ask you: Why is it so? Like you say, people don't understand. What is so hard about not caring about what someone says? Like, what? Why is it so hard to to not care what someone yeah, like, says? Why is to that you? pressure for you? Why? Why is that like? Someone not understanding, like, oh, you're not in my shoes. Like, it's easy for you to say who cares. But, like, why is it easier for her to say who cares? Because that's like, your lived experience. It's not mine. 
Like that's your why, lived why experience. Why do you care what people think of you? Is what I'm trying to say. I don't care that much. Like, what why think. is it hard to stop caring what people yeah. think of you? Yeah, I, I don't care that much what people think of me. Like, mm-hmm. oh, like how I look right now. I care so no, much. No, we're not talking about. I'm talking that. about life choices. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you made a decision, the first your first thought isn't about am I going to be happy? It's what are these gonna, people going to think of yeah. my decision? Right? Yeah. There's a certain like yeah. I, I guess I don't really know. I think it's because all up mm. until now in in my life I've always had this like expectation for myself based on other people, but based on society and based on myself. Like I'm not, I'm not blaming anyone. Like I put the, you're asking me a question. But yeah. Okay. I, I'm I putting this pressure on put, myself <laughs> too. And I just feel like up until now, that's how my life has been. I'm 26 and I'm, I'm actively, trust me, I'm trying not to care. I'm trying to paint scenarios in my head to do ultimately what would make me happy and not give a fuck what, what I'm not even like just, different groups of people would think, right? But it's hard. Like when I close my eyes and I picture myself doing exactly what I want to do in different areas of my life, it, it's almost like a, a voice in my head pops in. Like, oh, they're going to say this. They're going to say, and I don't know what it is. It's like a mental thing and I know I need to work on it. But the reason why it's like that for me is because that's your guys' lived experience. Like through my lived experience is different. Nello, your older brother's lived experience will be different. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying it's easy for you to tell me who cares. Like, it's like, thank you for the advice. Like, I, I I actually do take it as valuable. I don't know why you say I don't. I, I don't say, like, shut the fuck up. Like, I take mm-hmm. it as valuable. I, like, put it in my head and I think about it. But, like, in that moment, sometimes, like, the right thing to say for me isn't, like, who cares? Like, I hate when people say that. It's like, if you want to provide me advice, provide me advice and tell me, like, how you don't care. How, you, how you're like that's that. What I'm try- that's you're what I was trying to get to. You're that's what I was trying to get to. I said that in the car, though. I feel attacked. You're not being attacked, but you asked a question and now we're saying- Are you, are you the older sibling? Do, Do you, you feel this way? <laughs> a little bit of column, a little bit of column. Hmm. I need an older sibling on this pod. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll but on. realistically, yeah. like, I don't think it's like an older sibling syndrome thing. Like, I, I think it's also just a me thing. And like, also, I, I don't want people to think I care so much what people think. And I'm like, obviously, I'm but like, everyone, yeah, everyone you, with, you just said over. again, I don't want people to think. So you're caring what people think about you right now. Yeah, like you shouldn't even have to elaborate yeah, on that. I think, I'm, I think I have a problem. <laughs> like, no, but you, seriously, I, I'm not sure. Tr- and I also like, I'm not <clears throat> devastated with things in my life. Like, I'm not, I, I'm not disclaimer. I'm not trying to say that, but we're just kind of generally speaking. I think like where we're at, everybody in our lives, like in our 20s right now, like we are all making life choices. We're moving, we're doing things, we're doing this, we're doing that. And like, you're going to have voices in your ear from different people, from friends, from family. And like, I'm just the type of person that I just take those voices and those opinions to heart and they weigh on me. That's just how I am. And then that answers your question, why? Like I just take people's opinions and people's voices and it just weighs heavy on me. And it's not easy for me to just be like, okay, I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't know like how, where that started, but it started and and now I'm here. Is that something you would like to change about yourself? In a you way, like yes. To in stop a, caring? In a way, yes. In a way, no. I, I like, I feel like I'm definitely a people pleaser and- There's nothing wrong with that, but you, you can't, like I'm a people pleaser too, but- I won't do something that's gonna fucking ruin my life. To but make I don't do things better. that ruin my life to make some like you're being dramatic. Not yeah, I'm being extreme, obviously, but like, like I wouldn't take a job that made me ten thousand dollars more money because someone else would be happier. Okay, with neither my would decision. I. But neither would I. I'm saying that, like <clears throat> in general, I like I wouldn't go and take something take a job or make a life choice or move into a house because I was like that's gonna like I'm gonna look good if I do that and like other people like I don't do that it's just I don't know I don't know where we're getting at this is is kind of like going in circles yeah I don't know just some people care more about like I don't know I don't know it's like everyone's different I don't know how we got here but like now people now and now everyone's just like I don't know you could be the fucking coolest person in the world. Like everyone cares to an extent. Yeah, what and I was also gonna say them, that you like, guys, you guys do have a, like, you guys do care what people think. Like there's no way yeah, like- everyone cares, but like for like de- certain decisions, it's like you can't- certain extent. To a certain extent, exactly. When it like, comes to my life and what I'm doing, I've learned actually not to. And I used to be like what you were like, or now how you are, but now I've just learned like- But I'm not fully like that anymore. I've, I'm kind of trying to change. I am. No. Do you not agree at all? I agree. It's not easy to just like change yourself, obviously, but it's a good like start, you know, like recognizing the way you like feel and like seeing if you, if that's 
a feeling you want to keep feeling or if it's something you want to change about yourself, you know, like it's good to like, I feel like every year you should have like something in your head that you like want to change about yourself or like something you want to adjust in your life, you know, to keep things fresh. Yeah. And like that kind of brings me to my next point of like, you know, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, um, I know there's people out there who like wish they had a Valentine or like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm depressed because or sad because they don't have someone to spend Valentine's Day with. But I, I really don't think that like, I don't know. I feel like take this Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day like weekend week to focus on like self-love because the relationship with yourself is the most important relationship that you'll ever have because you're with you all the time. Mm -hmm. You're not with your significant other all the time. You're with you and your feelings all the time. And that's why you should focus on loving yourself first and foremost. Like we just said, you're with yourself all the time. I'm with myself all the time. So I'm trying to learn to like, instead of, me being like, fuck, I hate myself because I'm a people pleaser. I'm trying to learn, like, that's who I am. Like, what can I embrace do to change it. that? And let, let me embrace it. But let me also try and, like, make steps towards making me feel good and, like, not making me feel guilty for being that way. Use so it to, like, benefit yourself, you know? Don't, right. like, exactly. So <clears throat> that's why I want to say that, yeah, you guys, should, some advice this year on Valentine's Day. Focus on self-love instead of, you know, also, other if you don't person love. Yourself, love. <laughs> I don't know. If you don't love yourself, you can't really give your all all to somebody else yeah. or love the qualities of somebody else that maybe they don't love about themselves. You know what I mean? I don't agree. What do you mean? You I hate agree? when people say that, to be honest. I hate when people say, you need to love yourself before you love someone you, else. Not before, but you have to like learn to love yourself before you can, Sam, think about it. Because if you don't love yourself, let's just say you're extremely insecure. You're mm -hmm. going to project what you're feeling about yourself oh, onto yeah, the other person. And the other person's going to have to take that and be like, well, I didn't do anything to make you insecure, but that's literally coming from yourself. Yeah, but on the flip side, I think that like, if you're with the right person, you guys can grow together and like help each other learn to love that thing about each other. It's not your partner's responsibility to help you love that thing about yourself that you're insecure about, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, that's something, like, whether you it's- you got to work on, you know? That's like- Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need to be able to work <clears> on it to not project. 100%. So I want to ask you both, what is one thing that you maybe this year want to work on in terms of loving yourself? Me? Yeah, like what's one thing you're like, hmm, I don't know, like that's something I'm iffy about when it comes to myself, but I want to learn to love it or I want to nurture this part of myself. Feel free to share. You don't have to share it since we're mm -hmm. on the pod, but. I, I want to dedicate more time to my own emotions. I feel like I, I kind of just. It's a good one. I really don't tend to my own like mental health. I'm, mm. I'm always like. Helping me know. stop crying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not you, but like, I'm kidding. I'm I don't kidding. know. I feel like I'm, I just like kind of like push my own feelings to yeah, the side like, most of the time. Cause like, cause I can deal with it. Like I'm, I'm happy with the, the way my feelings are, but I feel like sometimes I like neglect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be feeling down and I'll just kind of just be like, oh, whatever. Like people yeah, feel worse. So like, why do I need to feel down about That's this? It's kind of like the immigrant thing. Yeah. You know, why am I, like, there's immigrants. Actually, I'm always, I, I so have why? that immigrant mentality, especially in construction too. I'm surrounded by fucking people with that mentality. Well, like, to be honest, I was going to say, like, I agree that <clears throat> that is something that you should work on. Cause I feel like when you are in like a depressed or sad mood and I'm trying to like be there for you and be like, Hey, like, say, like what's no, wrong? Worry, you're right? like, yeah, it's all you'll, you'll like, kind of get mad that I'm, uh, that I'm asking you. Like the other day I was like, what's wrong? Like I could tell that you were sad about something. I, I know I didn't do anything. I wasn't like, what did I do? Like, I'm not like that, like <laughs> weird like that, but. Like, I was just, like, trying to help you. I was trying to, like, make you snacks. And you were like, hey, can you just, like, stop? Like, I'm fine. And I'm like, you're not fine, but okay. Like, and I get it. Sometimes you want to be alone, but you should at least learn to, like, acknowledge I that agree. you're not That's fine. That's why I need to be more, like, in tune with my... You're, you're kind of, you were kind of projecting it onto me, you know what I mean? But it's fine. I, I, I can take I it. Because I bottle it up, and yeah. I don't want to, like, bother... I don't want to ruin your day with my... I know, but you're not. Fucking... That's why you're not. Too. Yeah, it's just, like, why... You already have a shit going on. Why the fuck do I need to tell you about yeah, my shit going no, on? Like, I just want to deal with it on my own, try and get over it and but, just let but you But I think that you should learn happily. to just acknowledge your emotions and feelings. <clears throat> so if I do ask you, you're like, yeah, I'm feeling X, Y, and Z. And I'm not going to like, I'll leave you alone, obviously, if that's mm -hmm. what you need. But like, when you say it out loud to someone who's like trying to care for you and like trying to like be there for you, like that's what like having a partner is for. You're not bothering me if you're telling me what's I wrong. I know, that that's the negative part of my- Yeah. So that's, that, what, that's you're what I'm to trying like, to work yeah. on, right? Like, my, I look at it as if like, it's like I'm bothering you. Like, why I don't, I never talk to people about like my day. I'll never be like, oh, I had such a tough day, blah, blah, blah. This happened, this happened, this happened. I literally just bottle it up. Yeah. I'm, I'm always just like, oh, how was your day? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, how was you, like, how did this go today? Like, I feel like I'm always like, 
yeah. initiating the questions. And when people ask me about me, I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. And like, that's it. You know, I don't yeah. like, care to, I don't, I don't know. Well, like, my I, life's like almost like unimportant to the other person. So I just like, aw, I'm not explaining it. But it's like, obviously not. That's but, like the bad part of like the. Well, I think the first step is acknowledging. So you, you already right? did that. Um, how about you? Oh, mine's kind of similar. I guess, um, yeah, it's the same thing. Like not bottling up when people ask me what's wrong. I'd be like, oh, nothing. Then I'll go home and like cry about it and get mad. No, actually my thing though is like, I get mad after someone asks me what's wrong. Like I'll be like, oh, nothing. And then like three hours later, I'll like snap and like say what's wrong or what yeah. was bothering me. But it's like, why couldn't I have said it in the moment and like resolved it in that moment yeah. rather than like dragging it out. So I guess that, like regulating my emotions. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What's yours? Well, we we talked about mine for forty five minutes, so. I oh, that, like, that was it. That's what you want to. I feel like I feel like I just want to stop people. I I want to work on the people pleasing part of myself. Like, I don't know. I talked about this on TikTok. Like, I was always like naturally very timid as a kid. Like, I was just mm -hmm. shy, and Which everyone is fine. it's fine. But everyone would describe me as shy. <laughs> like, if my parents introduced me to a teacher, it'd be like, "Here's Sam. Oh, she's shy." Or like a teacher would talk to me and they'd be like, oh, you're so shy. Or like someone, they, everyone was just describing me as shy and timid. And honestly, if you're watching this podcast, you wouldn't think I am because I'm like very comfortable in front of you guys. But in front of people who I'm not 100% comfortable with, I am I am still that person. I'm still shy. I'm still timid. Mm. And I don't know. I feel like that's something I want to learn to love about myself other than the people pleasing part. Like I want to work on that for myself and then eventually love the person I am after. But yeah. I want to learn to love like the shy, timid part of myself because since I was like that as a kid, I obviously took that into my te teenage years and adult years and it turned into like, I wasn't aggressive enough. Like people would tell me that I wouldn't get far or like I wouldn't, I, my assertive voice- or aggressive? Sorry, assertive. I wasn't assertive enough. Like people would tell me that I'm not going to get far. My voice isn't going to be heard. You're too shy. You need to be more assertive. You need to speak up. You need to, you're too timid. And I'm like- and and then me being shy started being coupled with anxiety. I'm like, okay, fuck, I can't be shy in this scenario. And I'm, I'm anxious now because I'm trying not to be shy. And then like me trying not to be shy, then I'm just fucking weird and awkward. So it's just- Just be yourself. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, like, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, so like, now I'm trying to learn, like, it's okay to be like shy slash an introvert. I guess what that what it, that's what it is. Like, I feel like I, people like- Shy people almost because I feel like I'm an introverted extrovert. Like I'm very extroverted right now, and like when I'm comfortable. But like in situations where I'm not comfortable, I'm shy. I'm like introverted, and that's okay. And I'm tired of people telling me, especially like if I want to advance in my professional career or mm. like our businesses. Like even with keeping a chance, oh, you need to be more assertive. Like no, I don't want to be more assertive. I'm gonna be passive and I'm gonna be quiet if I want to be, and I can still Fucking get what right. I want. I like you that. Know? I like that, Sam. So now I just gotta, yeah, I gotta <laughs> I like start that, believing Sam. it. I gotta start believing it and like liking that version of myself. But, um, anyways, we're in time. Yeah. Uh, anyways, good therapy session today. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! I feel like me and Franny just gave Sam like the pep talk of her life <laughs> a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. I guess my uh, my key takeaway is I'm gonna just try and make decisions and choices, no matter how big or how small, solely based on like what I want to do, how I'm feeling and what I, not even just acting on my feelings, but what I think is right for like me. Yeah. Everyone fire Sam the fuck up in the comments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop. You, no, everyone put who cares. Everyone, yeah. spam. everyone <laughs> hashtag who cares. Hashtag who cares. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, guys. Well, Wait. What? I feel like I have one more thing to say. Wait. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh. All right. Well, <laughs> thank everybody for listening. Oh, yes, I did. I wanted to say, <laughs> we we need to talk about this like later, but like we're thinking about doing a lot, like we're starting to do, or thinking about starting to do live on location podcasts, if possible. Um, <laughs> like, Loki talking to Chris, if possible. Yeah, if possible. <laughs> because like, like asking him, we wanted to, we want to start doing like, um, like not all the time, but like maybe like once a month, once every two months, we want to start doing like, going to local Toronto, like businesses or, or our friends and just like incorporating more of like our life into the podcast, not random fucking places that we don't care about. Cause we're not having guests on here or like random people that when like, you go get we don't your nails done or something. You should be like, Hey, we're getting our nails okay. done. This is my, no, I'm not having <laughs> Tracy on the podcast. She's like, she's nice, but I mean like, she's not yeah, a podcast even, like, For example, if we like, if we have a, uh, a friend who owns a restaurant, we're going to go eat there. Like a podcast when we're like eating tacos and just like, like that's hanging us. out. Like that's our yeah. friend. Like he owns a restaurant. Like that's what we're doing. Like things Almost like that. Almost like vlogging, but like podcast, but podcast. vlogging. Yeah. So we might start a whole new thing. 
called Pog- keeping. Pog- we don't know what's called. No, we don't know what's called yet. It's called pogging. No, it's called <laughs> keeping it on location. Oh my god, that was good. Keeping it on location. Keeping it I has to start with keeping it. Okay, don't give people ideas. What the? <laughs> f- oh yeah, we, yeah. Anyways, okay, anyways. Keeping it on location. <laughs> keeping. Thank it, you for watching. Keeping it on the spot. Keeping it on the dot. I don't know. Keeping it on the dot. <laughs> That's a pretty joke. We'll figure keeping it, out. it in the t dot. Oh. No, because it's not always going to be in Toronto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right, guys. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day. And thanks for listening. Love yourself. And us. <laughs>